There are two important aspects to planning. Planning your time allocation and planning your essay. We recommend the following time allocation. For the first two minutes, select your essay. For the next five minutes, plan your essay. For the following 20 minutes, write your essay. And then in the final three minutes, proofread your essay. As BMAT Section 3 essay reviewers, it is extremely easy to differentiate between those who have planned their essays with fluid structure and appropriate ordering of points and those who have failed to plan with a poor choice of point order, asterisks and arrows, etc. Planning is an essential part of being a medical professional, with everything from deciding in which order you will complete a range of emergency scenarios to appropriate resource and task delegation. So make sure you highlight your planning credentials with a well-structured BMAT Section 3 essay. Do you need to include a counter-argument if the question only requests one side of the argument? Yes, you definitely do. The BMAT Section 3 mark scheme clearly states that candidates need to provide and generate a reasonable counter-proposition or argument in order to score 3 out of 5. Failing to provide at least one counter-argument will restrict your ability to score three or more in this important BMAT section. Almost all BMAT Section 3 questions will consist of three parts. It is essential to answer all three with equivalent emphasis in order to score highly. Failing to address one of the required sub-questions, or answering it with limited content and support, perhaps due to limited space, will restrict your ability to score highly in BMAT Section 3. Unfortunately, this one's too good to share at this point. However, if you're attending a Blackstone Tutors BMAT course, we'll be more than happy to share our tried and tested formula that has helped hundreds of students score 5 out of 5 in BMAT Section 3 over the last 10 years. Effective time allocation is essential in BMAT Section 3. However, equally as important, if not more so, is efficient space allocation. With the official BMAT Section 3 answer sheets, providing you with considerably less than one standard A4 page of writing space, it is crucial to make every line count. To better reflect the exam settings, make sure that all practice essays are completed on official BMAT Section 3 answer sheets under timed conditions. There is an unfortunate tendency amongst many candidates to offer tangential drifting answers that address what they hope the questions are asking rather than what they actually are. Candidates who keep their papers open and visible and regularly review the questions being asked are far less likely to offer such answers. Thank <laughs> you.